Uh, welcome everyone to another episode of Abhirishi. Today we'll be looking at a very interesting paper published a few days back on 17 January by a group of scientists all around the world, some from Taiwan, some from Poland, some from Korea, some from the United States, some from the United Kingdom, some from Mexico, some from Japan. And the topic is about um, Active Galactic uh, Nucleus Recognition Model, so AGN. Active Galactic Nucleus Recognition Model based on uh, DNNs, Deep Neural Networks. So yeah, uh, AGN is one of the brightest or kind of s spectrum that you can get from the night sky is the, the kind of, you can say the galaxy center. There's a black hole at the center of every galaxy, but uh, the AGN is the whole cluster, the nuclear cluster around the galaxy. So if you just see, uh, okay, supermassive black holes, SMBH. Um, so uh, if you see the cosmic accretions uh, of, of them, so there are two types of uh, things, uh, radiations that are critical. And this paper focuses on those two radiations. One is star forming galaxies, SFG. So there are two categories, star forming galaxies or AGN. So whenever you get radiation from the night sky, you have to make sure, is it an AGN or S? Uh, FG and that should be some kind of feature selecting model to do that also. So that is what they will be doing first in this paper and we will be seeing that. Uh, okay, so now the main goals of this paper is about to test if AGN recognition problem in this field, uh, north ecliptic pole wide, so this part of the night sky can be solved using neural network. And second is to show that neural network exhibits improvement in performance compared to traditional standard uh, spectral energy distribution, SED fitting models. So these are the statistical models used previously, which is called spectral energy distribution. And they are used to um, sh uh, help uh, to test out all these samples that we get from the night sky. Third uh, mission is to publicly release a reliable AGN SFG catalog to the astronomical community. Uh, and uh, yeah, so yeah, th that is also there. But the data set that they do, uh, the NEPW data set, that's not an open data set. So that's why you have to ask the institution. Maybe they'll give a subset or something of it so yeah okay uh, first we'll talk about agents agents are compact regions at the center of the galaxy and as i said okay they are highly luminous and uh yeah they, they are basically just a product of the accretion of very big galaxy uh, uh accretion of the black holes located at the center of galaxies and sfg is also there so there is one architecture that they discuss is about um a neural net just to identify if it's a AGN or SGF. So that's the radiation from the night sky and you want to know, okay, there is one hot uh, vector uh, and you want to see, okay, is it a AGN or SGF? So that's uh, the first thing. So the problem that they want to solve this, the steps that they want to do is uh, first is to solve the AGN recognition problem. So that is, can active galactic nucleus be recognized? from the entire data set, so any PW data set. And second is, okay, they have to make a neural network and prove that, okay, it's better than the SED uh, fitting. So that was the old statistical model that has been the conventional method. So this is the way that they do the pre-processing of the data, so any data, it is like uh, multi-band. So you have to see, okay, what part of the night sky you have to take, what uh, bands you have to take and in that whichever uh, what you want to put it in training, what you want to put it in validation set and so on. So there is lot of things that you have to do in data science uh, experimental setup and number of samples you select and so on. So yeah, I'll, I'll, you can view this in detail later on. I'll just go over it uh, briefly and this is how uh, yeah, this is a pre-processing that they are doing it like super technical will take a very long time to explain. This is all this different bands collected from I think so different detectors. And uh, I think so there's data fusion done on all this from all these detectors and some pre-processing, lot of pre-processing done. Now we talk about the architecture that they are trying to make 
to make this better than ACD model. So this is uh, the architecture and uh, as you can see okay there the input is 44 band as there were 44 bands by 2 by 1 that's the input vector and the output feature map is uh, it goes to it remains 44 and then it gets uh, vectorized and then uh, feature selection and uh, it gets flattened and then it, uh, it there's a f uh, two fully connected layers of 64 and 18 nodes and then finally we have a finally we have an output scalar and that okay that they, they try to assess using some graph this is the loss function that they try to do all standard stuff in neural networks but okay they are trying to fine tune the loss function according to agents so yeah how they do the training of the algorithm again i won't go about it so they use adam optimization which is okay one of the very good algorithms that is there to find local maxima local minima and lot of stuff that can be done to fine tune the neural network and they try to form a table okay this is the all the hyperparameters that they choose for the uh, they form three models and these three models are different different hyperparameters mostly the delta was varying and delta is basically the minimum change in monitor that can be qualified as improvement so yeah they are just trying to see uh, what could mm, fine tune the neural network that they are trying to feed the, f the 44 band data to and this is all this uh, statistical thing ROC, AOC, accuracy, completeness this is all statistical quantities that you can have as an output and here is the graph as you can see uh, training over lot of cycles 3000 cycles the data is getting refined and refined features are getting refined and uh, the training set and validation set num the thousands of samples taken for both of them and this is the completeness percentage so 85 and 85 which they are claiming to be better than SED SED was the conventional method so it, they are telling it's fitting much better and and this is all the three models model a b and c which had almost different deltas and n also n was also different n indicates the waiting in terminal condition different n's different deltas and this is how they try to match i think the hyperparameters i don't yeah i think yeah, inference result that, that that they tried to match and with they also tried to match this again with the SED yeah and uh, this is another um, statistical graph that they had so that they show that um, all for all the three models uh, ratio uh, of galaxies and so on uh, even I didn't understand this clearly but this is basically they are just trying to say okay this is AGN this is HGF and uh, all this uh, ra radiative data that they're getting is it uh, these all field objects are they consistent across the three models that they had so yeah okay we, i'll just briefly read the conclusion so a great one of the major problems in astrophysics is to ad identify agents from normal uh, sgf sfg so that is uh, um so that's why having you like no one would like to uh, do this manually it's always good to do it by algorithms so you have star forming galaxies and uh, you have uh, very bright uh, active galaxy nucleus and you want to do some kind of uh, fitting model that helps be a, a improvement over this standard spectral energy distribution so that's the improvement that they seek and obviously since uh, neural networks use a lot of computation resource they kind of outperform conventional methods for sure so yeah there's a lot of scope for all this and they discuss all the results so i think uh, this sums up the paper it's a very interesting paper i i enjoyed reading it and i kind of got to know a lot of stuff about this problem statement and i hope you found it useful as well thank you for watching